this is not a time of playing politics. This is a time to focus on service delivery. And I've found the only person to help me dismantling all these cartels, mm. it is none other than Miguna Miguna. Let him think about it. If his name is rejected, I can bring another name. It is Sonko, as the governor, to forward a name of his nominee to the county assembly for the voting process. So in case that name is rejected, I want to repeat myself, the law is very clear. I'll always come with my own name. But you know, I don't want to, to, to have a fight with somebody who thinks he controls everything in this country. Somebody who thinks he's God. Somebody who, you heard him on the clip that was recorded by one of the intelligence officers, saying, the, who, who, this Sonko, he, he must be crazy. He cannot come and sit here with me. MPs come here, senators come here, governors come here to queue. You see, he's not my boss. And you see the point of argument. This guy approached me and told me, Governor, I've got somebody, a former DC, who is from Kirinyaga. I want him to become a, a deputy governor. Then, out of jokes, I just asked him, but my friend, you are from Kirinyaga County, which is more jubilee than Nairobi City County. Did you have a chance of nominating a deputy governor there? There's where my problem started. After that, I don't know what he did. My wife was slapped with a letter from KRA that he was doing business some 10 years ago. Buruburu was running Matatu's clubs. He should pay 36 million for something we don't know. He even raised a charge sheet for my wife and my sister to be charged in Kibera court. So my, the problems I'm facing is just one person mm -hmm. who thinks he's God in this country. And me, I'll not pick a magoti kwake. I know my rights. I have principles. I know the law. We cannot be driven back to the dark days. The dark days are over. The dark days ended when President Moy left as the president of the Republic of Kenya when he resigned. I mean, when, when his term ended. So, Mimi, I will not be... We, we, we don't understand, but the cause is one person. This same person has even predicted my death from the clip. If you heard that clip, he said, I control the intelligence. Actually, I control the police. Who is this Sonko? I'll finish him within a day. Right. Then the problem started of my security when I called the PC on Nairobi area, Mr. Kamwende, who was even overstayed. Crime rate in Nairobi is very high today because of Mr. Kamwende doing a lot of wash wash business with Cameroonians there, protecting uh, criminals. But I call, let me finish, I call Kamwende. Mm. One of your bosses has threatened me with, uh, uh, I mean, he threatened Nakifo. I mean, somehow he can kill me. I want to put, uh, uh, to come and, and, and do a statement. There's when my security were recalled. All, right. All from the bombers, they were recalled. There's where my problem started. Let him finish what he's finishing. But I have, to record a statement. Mm. Law should so not be, he's not, he's not above the law. Above the police have refused. Statement. The police have refused. My, state, my problem started when I called Kamwende. And I've got the print. I called Kamwende. I told him I want to make a report against P.S. Kibisho. Mm -hmm. He has predicted my death. He has said he's going to use his powers, the police and the intelligence, to ensure he kills me within a day. But sir, then all be, the, all be this, that as it may, I'm yes. sorry to interrupt, be that as it may, this morning I was out on Nairobi streets talking to some of the residents, the ground people. People on the ground are concerned that Governor Mike Mbuvi Sonko is giving up, is giving too many excuses. As much as it is an issue about your security and people fighting you, but for the common Wananchi, they want to see services on the ground and they, as far as they are concerned, you're failing. And a TIFA report recently rang Having a problem there with our signal, but that is Timothy Ocheno, my colleague. Uh, I understand it will be back soon and we'll be going back to just listen in to what the Nairobi governor, Mike Sunko, has to say. Let's just go back. I agree with you. I was ranked the last one. So what is the solution? Yes, I'm here. But what is the solution? The solution is to focus on surface delivery. Mm -hmm. I'm not the only person who is a, 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 a governor I mean, uh, of Na 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 Nairobi. This is a team, a government that is composed of a good team, a big team. The county assembly, if I fail, they also fail. I have a, 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 a cabinet, yeah? A cabinet, my, my, my CSS, they're all uh, technocrats. They understand uh, uh, the, the people who went to school. Sawa, sawa. Mm -hmm. So. Mamba ya kusema ati I've been I, I cannot deliver you because I was because I was I was ground. ranked the last one. You cannot compare Mombasa with Nairobi. My brother Governor Joe is doing his second term. My brother, uh, whom I respect a lot, uh, Governor Nyangnyong, he inherited a clean uh, government which has no corruption. Look at the government I've inherited. 
Yeah? Look at the rains. And by the cause of these rains and floods, look at what happened uh, in Solai. Yeah? Even Nairobi, we've tried. If I can say we've tried. But the rains could always be to slow down what we are doing on the ground. But people but ask, ask you, Senator, why yes. did you not ensure the, uh, the county you later inherited as governor yes. was a conducive one yeah. that would let you work no, serving I, as senator? I've been raising all these matters in Senate. Even at, at some point, I almost went physical with Kidero over misappropriation of, on, on misappropriation of funds. So I, 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 there is still time. And I've just said, mm. I had, I've, no, this is my 29th day in office. If you consider all these events which have been happening, the rerun of the election, the, 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 the high court election petition, the, the high, uh, uh, court of appeal election petition, I've not uh, settled Kabisa for physical kazi. So you don't but fear any impeachment? I don't fear any impeachment. I'll not be the first one to be impeached. And I have confidence in my county assembly of Nairobi. I've not cosiered them, I've not breached any law, I've not stolen, I've not been implicated in any corrupt, uh, corruption uh, related cases. So I don't think if that is the case, there is something else. Otherwise, this agenda is being driven by two people, the PS and the deputy uh, chair, Jubilee. Why has it not originated from Senate, from the Assembly, or any MCA complaining that I've failed, uh, you see? Mm -hmm. So we are Kenyans should investigate that. Why two people? The, why the same people who were fighting me when I was campaigning? I don't want to repeat myself. Why these two people? All right. Suppose uh, the Miguna Miguna refuses to take up that nomination or the county assembly turns it down. What next? I, you I, I think you, you, you just want me to repeat myself. I've just answered that question. The law is very clear on that. In case the name is rejected, there is nothing to quarrel about me and my MCS. That is their work. They are mandated by the constitution to do that to either pass the name or reject it. If they reject, they'll bring a letter to my office. We have rejected this name. Governor, come with another name. Mm -hmm. There is nothing wrong with appointing Miguna. That is my constitutional right. It is in the constitution. Yeah. So their mandate is either to pass or reject. And we cannot quarrel with, uh, about Miguna nomination. We've done so many things together. We've gone for so many inductions together. We have a very good relationship with my MCS. So these guys, let them fight their battles. Namimi, they should not bring it to my MCS. And I'm going to work with my MCS. They are good MCS. I like the working uh, relationship I'm enjoying with them. So this will not make us uh, maybe have a division in the Nairobi city county. Government. Buona Governor, thank you so much uh, for your time and for speaking to KTN News. Of course, that is Nairobi City County Governor Mike Mbuvisonko, who remains adamant that there is no law that he has broken. He still sticks to his gun. He has nominated Dr. Miguna Miguna. If he picks up the position, if uh, his nomination is shot down by the County Assembly, then he'll move on to the next one. But as it is widespread reaction, earlier on in the morning I spoke to a cross-section of Nairobi residents. Uh, opinions almost split down the middle. Some, of course, encouraging that working relationship relationship between uh, Governor Mike Mbuvisonko and Miguna Miguna, that it's a pair that perhaps may transform the lives of the residents of Nairobi County. Others not too optimistic about that duo coming together. So we have heard from the governor who says he followed due process in regards to, of course, presenting that particular nomination. This, of course, against what uh, the Nairobi County Speaker, Madam Beatrice Elachi, did say. And uh, as far as the governor is concerned, he is not going anywhere anytime soon, Ashley. All right. Amazing.